Yellowstone today. Black diamond pool explosion in Yellowstone prompted the closure of the area. Nearly a year has passed since the Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone National Park experienced a significant hydrothermal explosion. This event attracted the attention of visitors to the area. The explosion occurs when a shallow hydrothermal system is blocked by waterborne minerals. These minerals clog the plumbing system, causing pressure to build just below the surface. The resulting explosion is inevitable. Black Diamond Pool has seen several small eruptions, but none have matched the size of the initial explosion. In response, a monitoring system has been installed in the Black Diamond area. This includes seismic and acoustic monitoring, a GPS station, and a weather station. These tools now record more data about hydrothermal activity in both Biscuit Basin and the Upper Geyser Basin. Everyone. Currently, the Science area Shore remains closed to visitors Park, due to the ongoing system. hydrothermal explosion hazard. The new monitoring system allows for better observation and understanding of the conditions. For now, visitors are advised to rely on scientific reports and video footage for updates on the situation. Scientists at the Yellowstone Observatory, YVO, are studying the habits of Black Diamond Pool and Biscuit Basin. The YVO scientists believed that the still-closed area where a hydrothermal explosion occurred last summer was still active after the explosion, but data and evidence could not prove it. This week's Caldera Chronicles is written by Mara H. Reed, Samantha R. Hilburn, and Marjorie B. Price, all physical science technicians in the geology program at Yellowstone National Park, YNP. They explain that two eruptions were witnessed by people in November 2024 and in January 2025, but more seem to be going on. The authors discuss the signs that led them to believe the Black Diamond Pool was active, such as new sediment and rock debris appearing, small seismometers falling over, temperature sensors getting buried in the mud, and one sensor even getting swept down the Firehole River. Temperature records from sensors also revealed that at least eight events had occurred between January and April 2025. But scientists could not decide size or duration of eruptions from available data, the column reads. Due to the mysterious nature, scientists started to call the events Sasquatch eruptions, referencing a creature from North American folklore, also called Bigfoot. In May, YVO installed a webcam at Biscuit Basin to keep tabs on the thermal pool. Temperature sensors increased from 125 degrees Fahrenheit to 146 degrees Fahrenheit and back down to 125 degrees Fahrenheit over the course of four minutes. The webcam captured similar hydrothermal events on June 12th, July 3rd, and July 14th. The footage combined with infrasound sensors and temperature records provide extra data in learning the size and duration of eruptions. According to the column, hydrothermal explosions are caused by pressure changes that result from water changing to steam in a confined space. The expanding steam bubbles build up pressure until eventually the explosion breaks through the sealed rock. The July 23, 2024 explosion at Black Diamond Pool 
clearly changed the shallow hot water and steam plumbing system of the feature, the authors wrote. The United States G Survey USGS, recently published an article announcing the discovery of a new thermal pool in the Norris Geyser Basin. Unlike other pools in the area, this one seems to have formed through several mildly explosive events rather than a massive eruption. The thermal feature was first observed in April, but experts believe its formation process started on Christmas Day 2024. Thanks to monitoring stations and satellite images, geologists were able to learn more about the processes that led to the formation of these thermal pools. Despite the lack of a massive explosion, the new pool is another reminder for visitors of the dangers faced by those leaving the boardwalk against regulations.